Liz, I've helped a lot of women who are struggling to conceive. I know how trying the process can be because I've been through it myself. Carol, they're towing your car. Damn it, my kids are in there. No, how? I came all the way up to Westchester just to avoid you. This is Westchester? I am lost. Now, fertility shots. That's a euphemism, right? No, my husband and I are trying to conceive. I'm going to write your prescription for progesterone injections. That's a female hormone. Now I know what you're thinking, and the answer is no. If a man takes it, he won't grow breasts. Although that would be awesome. No money for the whorehouse? That's fine. I'll just look down while hiding my crotch with an oriental fan. Injections? Injections? Yeah, injections. Are you Dr. Leo Spichemin? <sighs> Come with us to Washington. You've just been named Surgeon General of the United States. <laughs> hey, that's a series wrap on Leo's Pachimmon, suckers! <laughs> are you doping? Liz Lemon has stuff for shrink your testicles, but there are bad side effects as well. No, Tracy, not that it's any of your business, but I'm starting fertility treatments. Uh, now, I'm not a woman, so of course I can say whatever I want. This seems really weird and unnatural. Side effects include mood swings, increased irritability, and swelling of one or more boobs. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I'm about to start shooting my new Harriet Tubman movie, and I got Octavia Spencer to play the lead, Harriet something. You know, I once played Frederick Douglass in a one-woman show that the University of Maryland Diamondback called too confusing to be offensive. Point is, I won't be at rehearsal at all this week. No, Tracy. Exactly, no Tracy. Thanks for being so understanding. updated your flash player? It is so sad. What happens to version 11.4? Oh, what now? I'm taking hormone shots to have a baby, you son of a bitch. A beautiful little baby. <laughs> Being a woman is the worst. <laughs> Lemon, Hank Cooper just told me I will never be CEO of Cable Town, but he doesn't know about my secret weapon, my mother's death. Wait, so we're both crazy? No, I've spent my life trying to win my mother's approval but she never gave it to me, which means I can't ever stop trying, even when faced with an impossible task, like making Hank choose me over his own granddaughter. How much time do you have? Three days. It's exactly the kind of challenge my mother's anti-love prepared me for. I'll make you proud of me yet, Colleen! It'll either be my masterpiece, or I will resign in shame. Just like poor Nixon. He did good things in China. <laughs> Hi, Bev, it's Liz. Oh, Liz! Yeah, definitely don't give me your last name because I only deal with one person a year, so I know exactly who you are. It's Elizabeth Lemon? Uh, I've been on the agency's list for a few years now. I wanted to see if you got my letter updating my marital status. Oh, yes, congratulations. You've moved from the well-meaning lesbian pile to found a man, comma, living a lie. Well, that brings your wait time down to only four years. Four years? So I'll be... 46 by the time I get a baby? Unless you'd like to adopt an older child, I can give you a six-year-old yesterday. Pick a color. Oh, well, I just always pictured myself getting a newborn. And I always pictured myself getting double-teamed by two of the rocks. But sometimes we have to make compromises. Well, let me know if you change your mind. What's going on here? And where did you get that sweater? Is that from Chico's Harvest Naturals collection? Octavia Spencer got arrested for soliciting sex from an undercover police dog. I just shut down my whole movie because of her. She turned out to be a Tracy Jordan. So to deal with her, I tried to be a Liz Lemon. Yeah, well, being Liz Lemon isn't just about wearing a sweater and... Hey, those are my glasses. Aw, oh, and you popped the lenses out? No, they shattered in the urinal. L, L, I don't know how you do it. I couldn't hack it with Octavia for one day. And you've been getting amazing, thought-provoking work out of me for seven years. Thanks, Trey. I mean, it hasn't been easy. When you first came into my life, you were out of control and you had horrible habits. Like my booger eating? Please, let me just have one. I need it, baby. Taking care of you has been exhausting. You'd fight me and have temper tantrums and... I'd have to stay up all night because you were sick. Hey, those Lego men were on a rescue mission to save the other Lego men that I swallowed. But as problematic as you were, I had no choice but to make it work. Elizabeth, you are an amazing woman. Seriously, if you can take care of me, you can do anything. Hey, remember that thing we talked about the other day about adopting an older kid? Well, I want to do it. Bitch, more than one person works here. 
Who is this? Oh,